here we see the forum category page. The next page that we want to create is the topic overview, which we will see here. Once again, we need to update the breadcrumb component, and then we need to change quite a few things for the table. We also need to remove the two card components with the member information and the forum statistics. And then we need to add a sorting widget here and a pagination component. So we have quite a lot of work to do. Let's start. First, we will duplicate this file and call it Overview Topics. Okay. Now we'll change the title to Topic Overview. Then we'll start with updating our breadcrumb. So we move this forum category text one step up and then our active breadcrumb item is now forum name. Now let's remove our two cards. So we want to remove the whole aside section, which we see right here. Now we can also change or remove this class from the column here. Now we'll change this text to forum name. We'll remove this margin button. And we also want to change this table responsive to table responsive LG so that it will only be responsive up to large devices, not above. Then we'll change these headings to topic created statistics and the last one will be remained. We also want to change this class to topic call. And add a class to the second one, which will be created call. We'll use these classes to set the min width. So up in the top, we change the first class to topic call. It still has the min width of 16 M. And then we add the created call class to the second row. So it will have the same minimum width of 12 M as the last post call. Now, when we look at it in the browser, just open the file here. We can see that the cards have been removed and our breadcrumb has been updated. Now we want to create these complex um, topic table cells. So we go into our code editor. And then first we change this H5 class to H6 and remove the margin bottom utility class. Then we'll create the batch, which is a span element with the class batch. And then we'll have the color of primary. So we use the class batch 
primary. Then we add some text and close the Spain tag. We'll also remove the text uppercase class. And now we will just paste in some text. We'll remove the paragraph and instead we will add a small kind of page navigation. So we write the text go to page and then we create an anchor tag at first the number one then two and three and then we use an ellipsis HTML entity code which is created like this. Then we'll add one more number, number four. Oh, actually, we will change that to seven and then eight and nine. Let's just copy this whole table cell and paste it in in our two next rows. Let's see it in the browser. Now we see that we have created this with our page navigation and a long tile. Okay, let's go back. Now we want to change this table cell. As we can see here, it should have info about the author name and the date. So we'll change this to the text by and then an anchor tag. And then author name, we'll close the tag. And then we'll have one more div tag with the date written like so. Okay, down here we'll change this number to five replies and 179 reviews. This is our statistics cell. Then in the bottom one, we want to keep some of it. We'll remove this first line with the heading, like so. And then we'll keep the rest. Let's have a look at this. We see that it looks fine. We'll go ahead and copy this. So we'll mark these. Select all of them and paste it in. Now let's change the heading for row number four and down. Once again we can start with removing the paragraph, change the h5 to h6 and remove the margin bottom utility. Then we can also remove the text upper case class and I'll just 
copy the phone name from before. Okay. So now I will select this and paste it in on the remaining rows. Let's have a new look. Now we see that we have all the content for the table being finalized. We can see we need to make one small change, which is just a space here and some numbers. So let's do that quickly. And add the space. We see that there's still a new difference. I can see that I've written reviews instead of views by mistake. So let's just quickly change this. I'll select all these reviews and remove two characters. Now it looks exactly the same.